Right, we've got a fixed spool rod I've got and Paul's got a multiply rod. Now the first thing you'll see about it is the difference in the rings. The fixed spool rod's got much bigger rings, but much larger and fewer of them. Now this is because when you reel in a fixed spool reel, you, it's slung under the rod so the line just follows the rings. With a multiplier, it's on top of the rod so the line's going to cut across the bend of the rod when it bends so you've got to have more rings to follow the curve of the rod. Paul, you, you, you use a multiplier regularly. I mean I use both but um, I use a multiplier quite, quite a lot. What do you think the biggest advantage of using a multiplier is? Um, the rod I mean. Well the rod I find because I like a rod with a bit of a powerful butt section, a bit of a progressive midsection and I don't like a rod that's overly stiff at the tip. That's right. Um, I find I can just, I like to grab the rod, wrap my thumb around the rail and just put as much power into it as I possibly can. Yeah. You can do that with a fixed spool rod like you've got there, but I, it's just, I think it's what you're comfortable with really. Yeah, well I mean, the, the fixed spool is a softer blank. It's usually longer, it's much softer. And the cast is a progressive cast, slow and easy, an overhead cast or an off the ground. With your multiplier, you're tending to use a power cast like a pendulum and you're building up a bit of compression with the lead in the blank as you cast it or before you cast it. So that, that's the basic difference. Now the other difference that's important to a lot of people is, is where you put the reel. Now this fixed ball rod, rod, I've got the reel up the butt. That's described as up the butt and you measure it something like that. This one's not exactly right for me but it usually the length of the arm is about right. Now Paul, you've got a low low position. Can you tell us why you've got it low and not high? I like it on the low position Alan because uh, we use the term in beach fishing um, taking on a lot more rod when you're casting. I find more leverage gives me more bend therefore produces more power and it's supposed to give you that, a longer that, cast. That's basically you're right, you're dead right. Now, if you think about the length of the rod, if you've got a 15 foot rod and you've got a lead on the end of a, on the line, now that's going to cause a big arc when it casts. A shorter rod is a shorter arc. Now that shorter arc is a faster lead, yeah. faster speed, and that is more difficult to control. That's why a longer rod is easier to control. It's more forgiving. Um, and the novice will find it much easier to handle than a short one with the reel up the butt. Um, on the subject of the butt, obviously these, TF gear rods have got adjustable reel seats so you can move the thing where you want it and, and I mean that is a big advantage. Your reel down low, I mean show us how you reel it in because that's obviously with this you can stick it between you get loads of leverage. Yeah. With that it's well, always always a little bit of well, a problem. Well I see as you, you, know, well, you took it into your groin or yeah. into your hip and I find I've got more control. Um, and it I gives find you a nice grip, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I find it totally uncomfortable having a butt of a, a rod in between my legs. That's I, it. I just find it just uncomfortable. And, and again, I think it's just whatever you're comfortable with. That's right. Well, some multiplier rods, they have a, what's called a reducer, and it's an extension in the butt, so it's about 18, 12 to 18 inches long, which raises the reel up away from your hip a little bit more. Um, if you see a rod with a re reducer, it's meant, it's meant for a low reel casting. It's not for, you don't put a reducer on and put the reel up the butt. That puts Some a anglers like on. to have the reel right at the base, yeah. don't they? And if it was right, if your reel was there, imagine how difficult it would be trying to actually hold the rod and reel That's down it. there. So That's the reducer it. in gives you a little now bit more. Now the other thing, the multiplier, that, that has got a nice grip on it, a trigger. Now you can see why way Paul's holding it, how much purchase and extra power that allows him to put into Gives the Gives you more cast. control, doesn't it? It does, yeah. totally, yeah. yeah. They're well worth having, even if you've got a rod, fit a trigger to it. Fixed ball wise well, the, the trigger's not so easy to go, because obviously if it was there, it's in the way of your hand. You hold a fixed ball, like that, two fingers around it, or even one, for grip. Right, we'd better talk a bit about the reels now.